Let's bring awareness to your breath. Are you breathing in through your nose or are you breathing in from your mouth? And how do you breathe when you're not conscious of your breathing? How do you breathe when you're sleeping? Well, let me ask you this. What's the purpose of your nose if it's not for breathing? Well, when it comes to breathing, think about your mouth as an emergency exit, only to be used for emergencies. Hello and welcome to the School of Breath, where we relearn the simple act of breathing. If you're new to this channel, my name is Avi Dugal and I help you create the life by design. In this video, we'll talk about specifically mouth breathing versus nose breathing. And it may seem a little dramatic to pay so much attention to whether or not you're breathing with your mouth, but it can actually lead to serious issues and medical conditions. So let's close the gapping mouth and start with basics of breathing. See, until now, you and I were taught that primary function of the respiratory system is to take in oxygen and eliminate carbon dioxide. Inhaled oxygen enters the lungs and reaches the alveoli. Oxygen passes quickly through into the blood and is pumped by the heart into your whole body. And similarly, the carbon dioxide enters through the bloodstream into your lungs and then exhaled. So what's missing here? Well, the research shows that there's a third gas in our bloodstream, which is called nitric oxide. And through the discovery of nitric oxide, it changes the way we fundamentally view the respiratory system. In 1998, the Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American scientists for discovery of nitric oxide's ability to expand the blood vessels. This phenomena is called vasodilation. Nitric oxide simply makes the blood vessels relax, thereby increases the blood flow. So in other words, when you're breathing in through the nose, it mixes with nitric oxide. This gas is primarily created in our cavities, the nasal cavities and the sinus cavities and it mixes with the air and goes into your bloodstream. This nitric oxide has a very unique ability to relax the blood vessels. And as the blood vessels relax, it increases the circulatory ability of the blood and it also kills the deadly bacteria. And as we age, gradually, the nitric oxide levels keep depleting in the human body. But here's a yoga technique which has been known by yogis for centuries to increase the level of nitric oxide. Of course, the yogis back in the day did not know what nitric oxide is, but they knew how to pump up the blood circulation just through humming. So this pranayama or breathing technique is called Brahmri. And if you want me to do a demonstration on this yoga technique, uh, I'll do it in the next video. Plus, please comment in the video so I'll remember it. But moving on, are there any more benefits of breathing from your nose? Yes, many. Oxygen absorption. See, when you exhale through small nostril compared to your mouth, there's a back pressure that's created on exhalation and it restricts and slows down the exhale which is exactly the time lungs use to absorb more oxygen. So in other words, you get 30% more oxygen with each breath as you exhale through your nose. Second, the pH value of your blood. See, when speaking of breathing, we only think about oxygen. But research has shown now that carbon dioxide has an equally important role to play in the respiratory system especially with the absorption of oxygen in the bloodstream. See, when the balance is maintained between the oxygen and carbon dioxide in your blood, 
it automatically creates an ideal pH value of your blood, 7.35. Moving on to the third one. What about snoring? When you breathe through your mouth, you're bypassing the nasal mucus and then it predisposes you to loud snoring and irregular breathing. Snoring is a precursor to sleep apnea and sleep apnea is a precursor to low cellular oxygen. And the research has shown that almost any illness, including heart attack or death in sleep, is caused by improper breathing through your mouth. Number four, temperature control. Well, your nasal passages will warm or sometimes cool the air as it gets to your lungs. Fifth, humidifying. The passage in your nose are specifically designed to humidify the air you breathe, something which is not present in your mouth. Have you ever woken up with a restless night's sleep with a dry mouth or sore throat? Well, chances are you're fighting nature through mouth breathing. Filtering. There is a hair-like structure in the nose called cilia. This filters out all the debris and toxins in the air and sends them directly down your throat instead of your lungs. It's gross, but it's better to send things to your gut instead of your lungs. But mouth breathing sends whatever is in the air directly into your lungs. The next one is smell. We have olfactory receptors within our nose nasal passage so as you breathe in the olfactory receptors can tell what smell it is and they can prevent you from breathing in toxins or viruses so you remember in the beginning of the video we said the mouth should only be used as an emergency exit so what are those emergencies well when you're working out and it's a strenuous exercise and you need a lot of oxygen going into your blood then you can mouth breathe temporarily and if you have your nasal cavities blocked or congested through sinus or allergies, then you can breathe in from the mouth, but you would not get all the benefits you get from your nose. So if you have some challenge in breathing through your nose in and out, whether it's because of your shape of the nose or maybe it was an accident you went through, then you should uh, consult your uh, breath therapist because these muscles in nose you can train them within three months you can actually expand the nasal cavity so you can breathe easily and in the next video we'll bring some other techniques where we can consciously train you to breathe in and out of your nose even when you're sleeping and I hope this video created a little value in your life and even if you know these things consciously Consider this video as a reminder to breathe in and breathe out from your nose. And if it did create any value, make sure you share this video with a friend of yours or loved one. And make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so we can notify you when we release the next video. Until next time, my name is Abhi Dugal and I help you create the life by design. Namaste and peace. Signing off.